Hello. Okay, so this is part two. In the part one, we've created this shape in Substance Designer and what I did so far, I just uh, changed the canvas size to be wider. So it's a 2048 and um, by 1024. And so I'm going to start over and we actually going to create everything together. But what I want to show you that what I've done already just to uh, get the idea what to use and basically to remind myself <laughs> what should I use to show you uh, all those tools. So uh, we're going to start with the basic basic shape. We're just going to scale it down apply some color to it. We're gonna use Photoshop tools to create uh, this shape. We're gonna add some details to it using uh, Photoshop filters. Some a uh, bit more shape using the filters. Uh, we're just gonna bring it back because I think the previous version was a little bit too much. Uh, just some color adjustments here. Some sparks. Some flamey bits. Then I'm just moving this into the center of the texture and adding a bit more glow to this area. And finally, just uh, adding a bit more contrast and bring, bringing all those colors um, back a bit. Yeah, so that's our texture. And to be honest, many people might um, ask like, why, why do we need this texture? And basically, it, it, you might just use it as a concept art to explore the idea how to basically, you know, create all those um, flamey shapes and uh, it might be just for yourself self as an exploration. However, um, I just wanted to show you quickly um, how I'm usually using uh, those kind of textures. So I'm just going to hop into the Unreal Engine. And as you can see, um, I've got this texture here um, using as a part of the VFX um, system in Niagara. So it's nothing complicated. i am just got separate textures for um, the sparks, but this is our texture and I'm using some material uh, manipulation to achieve this um, look. And I'm just adding sparks um, as additional details and um, two lenses as well to the front um, as a separate systems. But Mm, the idea is basically to um, achieve something like this with uh, those textures that I'm creating. So I'm hoping you're going to find that tutorial useful and uh, I hope you're going to start exploring this uh, process uh, as well. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to go to File, New, uh, 1024 by 1024. I'm going to double click on the background layer to enable it. Uh, control and backspace. So I've got the black background. And I'm going to change the image mode to be RGB color as well. I'm going to go back to our substance file. And I'm going to double click on the last node. Copy to clipboard. And go back to Photoshop. Control V to paste it. I need a bit more space. I'm going to go to image canvas size and resize it to 1024. Now I'm going to go back to our background layer, control backspace to fill it with black. And while we are having um, layer one, which is our projectile from the substance selected, I'm going to go to channels. Uh, while holding control, I'm just going to click on the red channel here in this box. So we're going to get this selected. I'm going to go back to layers, select layer one again, and control J. So basically, what we did, uh, we just got this uh, um, shape without the black background. So I'm going to disable our previous layer of this uh, projectile and I'm going to start working on the colors. So I'm going to right click on our uh, layer we just created, go into blending options and maybe start with the gradient overlay. So I'm going to change the blend node to be normal. And I think um, up because I've already done it, uh, this is uh, saved. 
um, in my preset. So as you can see, I've got it goes from white, yellow, orange, and then uh, red. And feel free to just experiment with the colors, and maybe uh, you could come up with something better. Um, I think I just want a little bit more white in here, so I'm just gonna take this and drag it a little bit. So I think this should be enough. Mm, I'm just gonna see what other options uh, I have in those blending uh, modes and maybe I could add a bit more glow to it as well. No, it doesn't do anything actually. Maybe I'll try different options. That's a bit too much. Uh, I might actually go to screen and play with the opacity. Just got just a bit. Like 20%. Yeah. Do what satin, satin does. As you can see, I just. I can scale this. And play with those settings as well. So I like what's happening in this area, but obviously I don't want white to be all over there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna change the settings that I like, like here, for example, and uh, press OK. I'm gonna duplicate that layer with Control J. I'm gonna go to blending options in this new layer and disable everything, but not satin. Mm, I'm gonna right click rasterize layer style and then while holding alt i'm gonna press um, this layer mask and i need to go back to our previous layer and disable the setting in this layer okay so now we've got this uh, image with satin mask so what we can do we can select the uh, the, the black mask go into brushes by pressing b and we can start painting this mask so we can bring this satin a little bit back so i think this should be enough and while we're here i'm just gonna select those two layers that we just worked on um, drag them into this icon so basically i'm going to duplicate them right click and merge layers so we've got those two in the one layer now and what i can do now i'm just going to press ctrl t and while holding ctrl alt and shift i'm just going to select this box and just drag it down so as you can see we're going to change the the scale of it but only in front creating this motion in into this texture i actually prefer that shape but if you prefer the previous one just leave it as it is and we can work from there so now now what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate this layer uh, hide the one below create a new one fill it with black color and just merge that with this one i'm just going to go to filters uh, liquify and basically what liquify tool does it just creates those uh, nice really nice shapes so if you never used it i suggest that you spend at least 10 minutes trying to understand what it does and uh, yeah just try try yourself create some um, simple movement and simple shapes just to get an idea what the tool does Okay, so I just need a bit more trails. I'm just gonna try with this here. Try to get this fluid motion. Get this uh, fireball shape as well. The thing is, as you can see, I'm you know constantly going back and forth, trying to undo and because mm, I think I've, I struggle to um, get those shapes right. 
but the more you use it the better you get at it and uh, so i'm starting to get some really cool shapes that at least i think they're cool start doing those half circles so as you can see I'm just taking my mouse and doing like a half half a circle trying to cut into those shapes and trying to introduce some spikes as well I just want those flamey bits to and be there as well. something like this could work but I think I just need a little bit more temperature in this space so if you imagine this being a source of the projectile it's got very high temperature it's almost glowing white and then you go to yellow orange and then red I just want to take this white a bit and start moving this across so basically we've got a little bit more higher temperature in those areas um, as well so it's kind of spread evenly. Okay, I'm just gonna press OK and as you can see we went basically from this to this which I think is a, a good improvement. So I'm just gonna move it um, a little bit to the right so I'll I can have this in the, in the center and I'll start adding a bit more details using other Photoshop tools. So now maybe let's try to duplicating this layer and maybe let's create some um, blur. Something like this maybe and then maybe try a different type of blur like uh, radio maybe. Um, zoom best and you know maybe 50 uh, maybe some motion blur as well you can play with the different options Now I'm just gonna um, select this blurred layer and create, click Alt and uh, mask it. And then I'll start introducing that blur uh, on the back of the projectile. As you would imagine, obviously I'm having like a very blurred and uh, very soft brush. And I just wanna introduce, introduce this, um, this blur all back here on the back when I'd imagine you know the, the back might be a little bit more blurred because of the motion and how fast this is traveling so i'm going to select all my layers duplicate it and then merge it and now i can try some other stuff like uh, maybe some edges to add details so those are our, uh, photoshop filters and let's try something like this so as you can see those lines they might just add a bit more detail um, to to the projectile i'm just gonna click ok and then i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna mask that layer and start introducing those uh, lines in various places so i don't want this to be like all over the projectile but only in only in a few places
just to add a little bit detail to this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna select our uh, original layer and uh, without any uh, stuff applied to it, I'm just gonna duplicate it, move it to the top and try some other stuff that I can add and alter the shapes of the uh, of my projectile. I'm just gonna try different filters and I'm just looking for maybe glass. Yeah, something like this. Obviously I played with those settings before, so um, I already got saved options, but you can pause the video and see what kind of options I actually have. So I quite like this one, so I'm gonna press OK. Again, mask it, and maybe I want those shapes only here on the back. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select our layer without any filters, duplicate it, move it to the top, and see maybe there are some other filters that uh, I might find useful. I quite like cut out because it might give us uh, some really cool sharp shapes, but uh, maybe it's a bit more. Maybe it's got too much detail, so play with the sliders, play with the settings yourself and maybe try to find something that you find interesting. So I really like those um, those details here, but although as you can see it's just not something that we want, so again we're just gonna mask it and maybe start introducing some of the stuff here. Maybe it's a bit too much, so I'm just gonna maybe reduce the opacity of that layer to maybe, let's say, 50%. And just in case, I just wanna try Liquify 2 again, so I'm gonna select all the layers. Because maybe I wonder if I can smooth out um, a little bit those, um, those lines. So basically, they, I don't want them to be straight, I want them to be, to have some sort of flow, but still maintaining the, the lines and the details in it. Just adding maybe those flamey bits. circle movement. Mm -hmm. I think that looks cool actually. Yeah, it could work. Okay, so now we've got this. Keep trying to add a bit more um, different filters to it and see if there are any that could work. I think dry brush is actually really, really cool. I'm just gonna try different settings. Yeah, maybe something like this, and then again, mask it, and maybe start introducing this in um, only a few areas. Okay, so I think we've got a um, really nice projectile here and maybe let's start adding uh, a bit more details uh, to this area maybe some sparks and you know maybe a little bit movement like a motion blur or something like that and you know let's see how it goes 
So I'm just gonna create new layer, new empty layer. I'm just gonna go to my brushes, select like a very hard, sharp brush. Um, I'm gonna add a lot more spacing to it. Like, I don't know, let's say a thousand percent. Go into shape dynamics and play with the size um, jitter. I go into scattering as well and just you know scatter those um, shapes so basically you should have something like this when you actually spawn a lot of circles i'm just gonna make them very very small something like this and you know just start introducing those here in the back of the projectile because i think this is where i need the most And that should be enough, then blending options, and maybe make them look as uh, sparks in terms of color. So a little bit more outer glow, which is red, and I'm going to add yellow as an inner glow. I'm going to rasterize that layer and go to filters again, trying to find something that's going to alter my shape and um, to see it better I'm just gonna create a new empty layer fill it with black uh, and just merge that with the with the sparks and I'm gonna go to filters and I'm looking for something that's gonna warp those shapes a bit actually spot them my work so select that one you can see my settings here 20 13 and and it looks like something that might work. I'm gonna go to liquify as well and I'll try to add a bit more motion to it by you know, dragging those uh, but not all of them just some of them and try to add this blur motion blur to it starting to regret that I'm actually using a mouse <laughs> but I want it to be simple so anyone can follow it but next time I'm definitely gonna use my tablet so I've got those I'm just gonna go into um, screen mode and as you can see they they sort of work maybe there's too much of them like here so I'm just gonna create a white mask this time and maybe get rid of them at least some of them that I don't think should be there um, I think I still got my uh, brush settings. I'm just gonna reset my brush and I'll try to get something a bit more suitable. So I'm gonna select my um, layer again and the one when we actually introduce liquify duplicate it move it to the top and i'll try to add a bit more motion to it using maybe let's try radial shapes here yeah, see if it's actually gonna work yeah it gives us this nice streaks and i'm just gonna duplicate our sparks as well and do the same thing and probably it's too strong so I'll tweak the settings of it, maybe let's try 29, maybe, yeah, and I'm going to go to screen mode and the, the previous one I'm going to go to screen mode as well, but I'm going to mask it and only add this uh, radial blur on the back. I'm going to select all the layers, duplicate it. Merge it so we can have one layer basically, rotate it so it's a bit more straight. And yeah, that's it. So I'm hoping you enjoyed it and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna help you, you know, achieving those kind of flamey shapes with your projectiles.